And today we're going to be making a breakfast scramble that I think you're going to enjoy. My family sure does. We're going to start out today with tofu. I know that sounds strange for a breakfast item, but this is a delicious recipe. You can get tofu in the produce section of your grocery store. One trick of using tofu for this recipe and other recipes where you want it to be firmer is to bring it home from the grocery store and freeze it. Allow it to uh, freeze completely and then defrost and it's ready for use in veggie kebabs, stir fries, and in recipes like we're gonna be using it in today. Freezing it actually changes the structure of tofu so it becomes much firmer. And if you're using it with kebabs, it'll stay on the skewer, whereas before it wouldn't just um, straight from the grocery store. I'll show you how it actually changes the texture, freezing changes the texture of tofu. So I did freeze this block ahead of time. Tofu is full of water, so make sure when you open it, it's over a sink or a bowl. I cut into my package so that the water can be draining out. All right, just let it drain out and remove the tofu from the plastic. Now this is what freezing does. Normally if you try to squeeze water out of tofu, you would need a press or you would need to put it on um, paper towels on your counter. But since it's been frozen and it's firmer, I could actually squeeze it with my hands. It's more sponge-like in texture, much firmer than it would be if we had not frozen it. We're gonna get out as much of the water as we can because for this recipe, we want crumbled tofu. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and crumble the tofu into this bowl. You can see how nicely it just falls apart. The next step is going to be heating a fry pan and sauteing our vegetables. I'm adding veggie broth. So many people feel like you can't saute vegetables without oil. I was one of those people, but I have learned vegetables saute very nicely in just water or in veggie broth. Today, we're gonna to use some veggie broth. I'm going to add onions, a few uh, red bell peppers, Sometimes if I don't have red bell peppers on hand, I will slice cherry tomatoes and put them in. It gives a beautiful uh, red color. And from the red color, we know we're getting lycopene, which is a wonderful nutrient that helps us fight disease. I'm gonna go ahead and add the tofu at this point, as well as our other spices. I'm using nutritional yeast today. If you're not familiar with nutritional yeast, it's a spice. It's not brewer's yeast that you bake with. This is for flavoring. I put it on popcorn. I put it in many different recipes, including my cheese sauce. And today we're gonna to be using it in the breakfast scramble. I'm also gonna be adding turmeric, which gives this a beautiful eggy kind of a, a color. I'm gonna add some sea salt. As you can see, our spinach leaves have wilted, and this makes a beautiful, colorful dish. If you like a little spice, add some sriracha or maybe cayenne to get a little more heat. Next, I'm going to put this in a bowl. And I'm actually going to show you how to make a breakfast scramble wrap out of it. We're going to take a whole wheat tortilla and add a little bit of our scramble. Now we're ready to wrap it up. And slice in the middle. And there you have a beautiful wrap for breakfast. 
you will find pictured step-by-step -step instructions as well as a printable copy of this recipe on my blog. And you'll see the link to it at the end of this video. Thank you.